Hey guys, so today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to hook up your camera to your computer. That way you can use your computer like as a monitor so you can see your uh, LCD screen on your computer screen. This is just really helpful because you can see the screen a little bit better and you can actually change the ISO and change a bunch of settings on your computer. So it's super useful to know. So let's just go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so the first most important thing to do is take the CD that it came with. So this has the programs installed on here uh, that you will need to be able to uh, hook up your camera to your computer. So go ahead and pop this into the computer and install the programs. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and grab your camera. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn your camera on. And um, what you want to do is go into menu and your Wi-Fi. Go ahead and disable that. Uh, for some reason, this uh, when your Wi-Fi is enabled, it does not uh, connect to the computer. So next thing you're going to need is the mini USB to USB cable. This came with your camera. All you're going to want to do is grab the mini USB side. And on the side of your camera, right where it says uh, HDMI right there, you're going to put it in uh, this little hole right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So just like that. And also make sure your camera is off while you're doing this. Okay, so once we have the mini USB side plugged in, I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side and grab my computer. Alright, so what you're going to want to do with the computer is grab the USB side and go ahead and plug that into one of the USB ports. So just like that. Alright, so now we have the mini USB plugged into the camera and we have the USB side plugged into the computer. So it should look something like this. Okay, so first things first, once you turn it on, go ahead and put it into manual mode and uh, go ahead and do movie recording. And then it will automatically do this. That means it's connecting to the computer. So now that we have the camera turned on and it's connected to the computer, I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff out of the way and actually show you like a computer screenshot. That way you guys can see uh, what you need to do on the computer. Alright, so as you can see, once you plug your camera into the, your computer, this is a screen that pops up. So yeah, just go ahead and click Remote Shooting, and it'll bring up this little sidebar right here, and that's where you can change all of your settings, so like your ISO, your shutter speed, and all that stuff, so that's so, so cool and so awesome. So anyway, once that thing pops up on the side, you also want to click on Digital Photo Professional 4. That's the other program that brings up this right here. And you're going to want to click on Remote Shooting right there in the top. And just press OK. And that's going to bring up a screen. And we'll actually have to click Live View first. Sorry. And now it's going to bring up your live view screen. So as you can see, um, I am holding my camera right now and you can see it on the computer screen. And all you need to do to record is just press that little red button in the bottom left corner and you're good. So yeah. So once you're done, just go ahead and hit the record button again on your computer to stop recording. And then just go ahead and turn your camera off. And then once you do that, it's going to go ahead and turn the camera off. Alright guys, so I really hope that was helpful. I hope I explained it uh, good enough so that you guys understand. And of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. So yeah, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will get back to you. If you did find this helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!